So, um, I'm going to talk about, today we're going to talk about some really cool screwdrivers that aren't super expensive. I know CP the Tool Addict did, um, his video, Flat Rate Master raves about these things. I'll tell you how great they are. And I'm sure there's lots of other YouTubers. Uh, Mike Fox has a lot of Japanese tools working on motorcycles. He likes Vessel. And, um, yeah. So, I'll tell you what the, what's special about these and how they work right after this. <laughs> Okay, so, um, these are Vessel screwdrivers, right? Nothing special. No, these are actually super cool screwdrivers. These are Vessel impacted drivers, and maybe I still have the packaging. Would you look at that? I still have the packaging. Straight from Japan. Takes forever to get here, a couple weeks. You can see, you can hit them with the hammer and they'll turn like an impact driver. So, what these are is, these are, um, impacting screwdrivers. You know, it shows it right there. Put them in the fastener, whack them with the hammer, you know, apply a little turn force, whack them with the hammer. And they'll turn like an impact driver. They don't turn quite as far as the impact driver, but they're a lot more compact, and you can use them like a normal screwdriver. I mean, you can do that with the impact driver, but these are more comfortable. And the tips on these, I have the number three and the number two. They're designed to fit specific screws very, very well. The tips are slightly magnetic, but this is a stainless fastener, or mostly stainless. Nope, it's completely stainless. Um, so that's his all tip fit on this one. And you can see it doesn't fall off, even if I shake it, turn it upside down, it doesn't fall off. And these are designed to fit JIS screws as well as Phillips. JIS is Japanese Industrial Standard. Um, you see these a lot on Asian throttle bodies. Uh, you see torques now too, but... You know, but you'll see JIS screws going into aluminum a lot. And, um, a Phillips will fit, but it doesn't quite fit them correctly. These will fit them correctly. Put it in, turn, whack with a hammer, spin it out. I get 99% of screws I use this on out damage free. Uh, number three is a, has a bit of a story, but... Um, yeah, they work great. This number three is the one I bought first, and I thought I was ordering number two. Clicked the wrong button, got number three back, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to return it. It's a tool I don't have, I'm going to keep it. I used those, uh, time I was doing breaks every single day, and a lot of days it's still like that, a lot of breaks. This screwdriver... Uh, screws and uh, brake rotors, so you use an impact. Boom, put this in, hit it, gets them out every single time. I finally bought number two last week. I don't know why I waited so long. But, yeah, great screwdrivers. Remember around Christmas time when Craftsman was still good, they used to have the Phelps flat. Uh, impacting screwdriver combo for like 20 bucks. This 
was le uh, those were made by Vessel. Um, I, I'm. They also have regular uh, kind of a blue teal handle. Those are the same tips, but they're not impacting. Get these. They're not that much more expensive. And believe me, these work great. These sit in the top of my tool cart in the screwdriver holder. Every single day. I use them every single day. This is another vessel tool I own. It's the 220W, made in Japan. Comes with these three bits. Kind of rusty because I don't use them too terribly much. I should use them more. But, um, as you can see, same thing. Number, this is number one, number three. This is, uh, I want to call this Posi Drive. I'm 90% sure it's Posi Drive. If someone would tell me in the, in the comments, that'd be great. You know, a Phelps with actual point in it. PZ Posi Drive. Comes with the Posi Drive number two and three. And uh, regular quarter and number two flat Phillips slash again JIS. You know, and you know, nice grip. And it, you know. Not impacting. I, I think they make an impacting one, but you can see again, holds the screw perfectly. And it's quarter inch, so I can use quarter inch bits in this. So, yeah, Vessel Tools. Uh, JDV Tool Sales on eBay, I believe. Uh, he's out of New Jersey. Mark Fox is saying that's where he gets his Japanese tools from. I bought all these off Amazon. So, you can uh, go over to Amazon and get yourself some of these. I'm not going to do the affiliate link thing as of now. Specifically because the channel is not big enough and the way Amazon works is you have to maintain a certain amount of sales within a certain time period and not enough people are going to use that link. And if you don't create enough sales, Amazon bans you from the program and I really don't want that. So, um, yeah. But if you deal with any... Phillips or JS. Get yourself both of these. They're not that expensive. As of when I bought these, you can get them both on Amazon. Or them ahead of time because they do take a while to come from Japan. But it is well, well worth the wait. And I've never broken one of these. I think Flat Rate Master, who uses this one every single day, he had his last years before it finally broke. So, I have no doubt in my mind that this is a great tool. You know, grip feels good. You know. And I guess I can give you a number on both of them. Well, on this one. Can't read it on this one. The number on the small one is 980. And I'm not sure the number on this one. I can't even make it out. It would have been printed right there. But you can see I've wailed on that one. <laughs> Excuse me. I've wailed on that one more than anyone should. And it's taken it. Um, on... Toyota 2AR engines have a gear type oil pump driven by a crankshaft that's in the timing cover. It's held in with probably, I think it's either 12 or 14 uh, 6x1.0 uh, screws that have a number 3 JS head. This and, and those screws like to seize because they're steel screw torqued up to pretty much as much as they can handle into aluminum. So they, uh, 
that galvanic corrosion, I believe is the term. And, um, they get stuck. To give you an idea how stuck they get, I broke two impact rider bits in my Lyle hand impact. A number three Craftsman three drive bit. And an extractor trying to get out a set of three screws that were seized or head broke off. But, I don't know, they're super tight, they don't need to be that tight. Um, this, I'm, this outlasted all those tools. I wailed on this thing with a 48 ounce hammer. And it didn't break. It was actually driving itself into the screw and getting a really good bite on it. And it was doing one of two things. It was taking the screw out or it was breaking the head off. Um, it's a great tool. And um, the tool breaking the head off, it's nothing to do with the tool. It's the way the screws are. It's like an impact, okay? You know, impact wrench. Impact wrench shouldn't break those screws. You know, you kept hammering on it. So, same thing with these. These will pretty much take anything out. If they made a vessel impacted driver this size with a, or maybe this size with a quarter inch square tip and this size with a three inch square tip, I would buy them. That's how good they are. So, mm, another great tool. Vessel doesn't know I exist. They didn't pay me for this. They have no idea I even bought their product. It's just a really great tool. Um, get yourself both of them. I mean, why not? So, questions, comments, in the comment section as usual. Uh, I'll try and answer them, as I always do. So, thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next video.